Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Today I wanted to talk about the relationship we have with our children. You know, it says in John, 1 John 3, verse 18, that let us not love with words or with our speech, but with action and with truth. And notice how that our children, they're like sponges. They absorb everything. They watch everything that we do as parents. And they take in everything, um, more of our action and behavior rather than what we say to them or what we try to teach them. And, you know, in this world, we get so caught up in trying to raise our children so well or as perfectly as we can. But, you know, as we all know, there are, there are no perfect parents out there. And rather than putting all our time and our energy and our investments on working on the outside of children, the outer being of them, whether it's like what school they're going to, how they're going to dress, or what type of activities they're going to be involved with, let's put more of our energy and our investments on their inner inner being, which means the relationship that we have as parent and as a child. The relationship for when we invest in our relationship and making it strong and just creating deep roots, then the kids will naturally just fly and do well in their life, in every aspects of their life, whether it may be socially with their friends or um, with authority or with um, their schoolwork or in their hobbies or anything like that. They just naturally, because they have the security from their mother and father at home and they know we teach them what relationship is all about. And also like how our Heavenly Father is to us, we are his children. And he sent his son Jesus in this world to be a great example of showing us and teaching us his truth by the kind of life that Jesus lived. And God wants us as believers to imitate Christ. So we are the role models for our children and Christ is the role model for us as well. So in this video, I just wanted to express the importance, the great importance of having and building that relationship with our son and daughters, because that's a lifetime, lifetime, um, lifelong thing for us that we create. Because um, all the things, the outer things, we never know um, what can happen. That we work so hard in our grades at school or activities with sports or hobbies and things, but. You never know what can happen where it can suddenly be taken away one way or another, maybe with our health or we have to suddenly move or, you know, different things like that. But I think that what I want to share as a parent and express to all of you is that the kids need, our kids need our, the security and the home and um, the protection and the love from the parents, no matter where they are at their stage and what stages they go through in their lives, whether it's toddler stage, teenage stage, adulthood, that we are always here regardless of any situations they go through, regardless of the many mistakes that they may make. And we as parents make many mistakes as well. And I love that verse that it says in 1 Peter 4, 8, that above all else, love each other deeply for love covers over a multitude of sins. You know, and it says that we all stumble and fall in many ways. We're not perfect. But for the kids to know that mom and dad also make some mistakes, I think it gives them a sense of knowing that we're all human and striving for perfection, um, being perfect, it doesn't exist. It's hard to reach its goal. So just to remind us all that we are the role models, we are the living fleshly examples of what the children grow up and they see in us. <clears throat> you know, I must, I would like to share with you that even making my videos, I shared with my kids, you know, Jason and Jordan, you're going to learn some things about mom that you never knew about, but I really felt that they were age appropriate to, um, to listen and for me to share my life and my mistakes of what I did been through in the past and to, for them to know that mom is not perfect and they accepted it well and they were not judgmental 
And sadly, they said that, you know, their friends, they know that their friends and the type of relationship they have with their parents, some of them, will be very judgmental, you know, telling their parents, see, you're not perfect and you're trying to make me into something, you know, that's not perfect and real. So I'm very happy to see the response that Jason and Jordan had to gladly accept me as a mom of who I am and um, just to move forward in a, in a relationship and build more love and trust, which I actually did, especially with Jordan being a teenager and all. And, you know, the other night I like to share that, um, you know, Jason, he treated me and Jordan to McDonald's one day. And I just asked them, you know, Jason and Jordan, can I ask you something? What's your view of a good parent? What's a good parent like to you? And um, what they shared, I wrote it down because I just didn't want to forget it. And I like to share that with you. What they said, Jason and Jordan, and this is a little encouragement for all the parents out there. They said, for the parents to be honest, then trust will be built. Trusting in the parent validates what the kids can believe what the parents are saying is to be true. Do not be hypocritical do, in your actions and in your teachings. Actions do speak much louder than words, and we are their role model. Spouse, to get along with each other, the husbands and the wives, <clears throat> and not fight in front of their children, but to show their children how to have a healthy relationship, which is very vital and important. So those are such beautiful things that they shared with me. And here's the ending of what they said. If you tell your children how to live their own life, then they won't have a broadened vision for their own life. But if you give them freedom, if you give your children their own freedom, they have chances to do more things and it opens up the doors to more paths, not just the one path of what the parents want. Isn't that some great advice from a children's perspective? And it's pretty wise, something to think about. You know, as you notice, I'm here at this uh, horse, I'm in a horse area. I don't know if you can see that beautiful white horse behind me. And, um, you know, they imagine a horse to have their own you know, little horse, they build relationship, they teach them as much as they want by showing their example. They can't talk to each other, but a lot is by body language, behavior, actions, role models, <laughs> you know, and I, I don't know if that's a good example, but with the animal and their relationship as uh, the parent and their children with horses, they can't speak, but by their actions also with humans, all of us, we try to be a great example and a good influence to our children. And also like our Heavenly Father, you know, He sent His Son Jesus to be that good influence and that role model for all of us, His children. So I hope this video may encourage all the parents, let and allow our children to just evolve and be the person that God created them to be. Let them fly just by knowing that they have their loving relationship with their mother and father and just work on the inner being with them, create that relationship, build that relationship, have that trusting relationship, and that will take us to the end of the earth. Um, and that's such a beautiful thing. So I'll see you next week. Please subscribe to Lisa Cho YouTube channel, and I'll be planning to make more videos about um, raising our children. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.